Aloha, I'm Chris Sebo. I create paintings on the strip in Waikiki. A local spray paint artist here in Hawaii. Look for locations and tried many places. Just so hard to find a place that can handle the crowd that we generate when we work, you know. When I'm in Waikiki, I'm, you know, Aloha ambassador. I, people come from all over the world. I meet them, you know, give them a little demonstration, show them how it's done, you know, start to finish in about five, 10 minutes and make a piece. Usually kind of blows their mind. They're just surprised that it can be done with spray paint that fast. You know, most people have only seen graffiti done with the spray paint or their lawn chair outside. So when I'm creating my art, I, I put myself there. I picture myself sitting in the painting, looking into the painting as if I imagine there's a wave here, a wave there. The sand's coming about right here. The bushes are here. You know, the mountain is coming down here as it's fading into the distance. I just try to put myself there. It makes it easier to bring it out as I see it to imagine it being there and blocking out everything around me, focusing on what I'm trying to create and uh, just looking at it as I'm doing it as fast as I can. And I lay down layers of colors and then smear it, manipulate it with newspaper, poster boards. Um, some of it I use a couple of brushes. What I do in Waikiki, like when I do a performance, it's mostly landscape, yeah. I mean, mostly Hawaiian scenery, Hawaiian landscape. Outside of doing what I do on the street, I do everything from marine life, turtles, dolphins, whales, to fantasy, sci-fi planets, and that type of motif, and then slowly dabbled with any and everything. You know, people would say, hey, could you do this? Could you do a heart in the sky floating or a cross? Or, and then just one thing, I've done everything, you know, from the Virgin Mary to zebras and giraffes. The reason I create art is because it's a, a constant challenge. I love using my hands. I love turning it inspiration and putting it down on the paper with the paint. And because that's what, you know, I feel destined to do. I feel like that's my destiny is to create using the art, working towards a better future for myself and my daughter. Yeah, I basically learned to paint waves living right here at Sunset Point, watching the waves come in, watching the light reflecting. Yeah, this is a great place to observe the waves and learn how, to, how the light catches them learn how they form, how they build. Yeah. If I hadn't lived here, I definitely wouldn't have learned to paint waves the way I do today. 